Welcome back to the GCN Racing News Show. This week, we've got the latest from the world of cyclocross, including a comeback from ZNX Stibar, as well as the latest GCN Zwift race. But first, it is with great sadness that we report on the passing of cycling commentator and former professional cyclist, Paul Sherwin, who's died aged 62 this Sunday. Sherwin rode professionally from 1978 until 1987 in a career that included riding seven Tours de France and winning two British national titles. However, it was his subsequent career in broadcasting where Sherwin became a household name, first commentating on Channel 4's tour coverage in the UK and then moving to commentate on NBC Sports in America in addition to SBS in Australia. Throughout his broadcasting career, he worked alongside his longtime commentating partner, Phil Liggett, with the two of them collaborating on 33 editions of the tour. Overnight, tributes from the cycling world flooded in over social media, including this one from Liggett. I went to bed in Africa with a heavy heart last night, feeling sadness like never before. My teammate for 33 years was no longer with me. Your hundreds of messages showed me how well Paul Sherwin was loved. Let's think of Catherine and his children with love just now. Sherwin was in Uganda, the country in which he had made his home for the last 10 years when he passed away. All of us at GCN would like to offer our sincere condolences to Sherwin's family and friends. The women's race at the Sudal Classics in Hasselt was packed with plenty of the sport's biggest stars, producing a relatively tight affair which made for some exciting racing once again. A clear winner did emerge in the end with Ellen van Looy beating the in-form Denise Betsema and world champion San Kant to secure the top spot on the day. In contrast, the absence of cyclocross's biggest stars in the men's race, Wout van Aert and Mathieu van der Poel, meant that there would be a new winner. On this occasion, it was Kevin Powles who seized the opportunity of a more open race and produced a strong display, which proved too difficult to match for fellow podium finishers, Jens Adams and Ellie Isabit. A part-time athlete until only a couple of weeks ago, the 25-year-old Denise Betsema has seen her fantastic victory at the Coxider secure a professional contract with Marla Bingol. A deserved reward for her seven victories so far this season, which prove her success is no fluke. Women's cyclocross has proven an ideal tonic for many who are bored of Mathieu van der Poel's dominance in the men's races this year. Instead, enjoying more dynamic contests and harder to predict outcomes. But we want to know, have you been enjoying women's racing more this season? Let us know in the comments below. Last week's Alp de Zwift race was another brilliant affair with our very own Emma and Maelan taking part in the action, testing their efforts amongst other super strong Zwift riders. In the end, it was Australia's Sean Vinin who finished top of the pack, having worked hard to close the earlier attack of Lionel Messinio from Argentina, which opened a gap of around 10 seconds. Sean worked hard to overturn the deficit and pushed onwards to victory finishing with a lead of 47 seconds over Lionel and an average wattage of 384 watts for the 53 minutes and 4 seconds race. It's been a long career for 35-year-old Irishman Philip Dagnan, 14 years to be exact, one which included 10 Grand Tours and a stage victory at La Vuelta España in 2009. Having initially turned professional with AG2R, he went on to ride for the Cervelo Test Team, Radio Shack, United Healthcare, and joined Team Sky in 2014, who have since become his final team. An unsung rider in many respects, Dagnan enjoyed some sparkling form at times, including placing ninth overall at the 2009 Vuelta. However, in later years, his talents were put to use as a super domestique. We will wish him all the best for the future, especially as he recently became a dad. Could put those super domestic skills to good use. 
An epic saga which began to border on the farcical at times, the transfer of Ivan Sosa looks to have finally been settled, much to the glee of Team Sky. Having caught the eye during 2018, including battling it out with Chris Froome and Thibaut Pino on stage two of the Tour of the Alps, there was never any doubt that the 21-year-old Colombian was bound to be hot property in the transfer market. Trek Segafredo were one of the first to make a serious move for the young talent and were so certain that everything had been signed off that they even announced his move to the team. However, they soon realised this was not the case when, despite having paid for his release clause, Sosa had never signed a contract at all. Having now resolved everything officially and reimbursed Trek Segafredo, the Colombian has definitely signed a three-year deal with Team Sky. It was confirmed this week that the Breton outfit, Fortuneo Samsic, are set to hand title sponsorship to Arkea, a parent company of Fortuneo and become Arkea Samsic for 2019. After this season proved to be a disappointing affair, they shall be hoping that Warren Barguy can rediscover some of his 2017 form ahead of the Tour de France, while Andre Greipel joins to see if he can continue adding to his victories despite being in the twilight of his career. Overall ambitions remain high at the French team, with their long-term focus being to join the ranks of the World Tour at some point. Sticking with the sprinters, or lead-out men at least, we're wishing Mark Renshaw a speedy recovery from a broken pelvis sustained after he was hit by a driver when out on a training ride. Hopefully he'll be back in time to help long-term teammate Mark Cavendish before too long. Zedenek Stibar shall be making a festive return to cyclocross during the up-and-coming festive period, returning to the sport which first delivered him success and a reputation as a rider worth watching for the future. He'll make his first appearance on Boxing Day at the Zolder World Cup, before moving onwards to races at Lohenhout on the 28th, Daigum on the 30th and another on New Year's Day at Baal. Though it may have been some time since we last saw the 33-year-old Czech rider fully committed to cyclocross, such was his pedigree even after he'd made the transition to full-time road rider, he still dispatched Sven Nice at the 2014 World Championships to add to his victories in 2010 and 2011. That's it for the race news this week. Now remember to join us on our live Zwift race here on GCN on Tuesday and we've got more live cyclocross over on our Facebook page this Saturday, so be sure to tune in for that. If you're looking for any Christmas gifts for the cyclists that you love or like a lot, then head over to the GCN shop because we've got loads of cool stuff on there as well. But until then, I'll see you later.